Hey everyone, Flying Dutchie and welcome back to Argentina. Another recording session here. Last episode we took Chile and we took their navy. So we have a couple of categories now. We have our battle fleet, they are repairing. When everything is repaired we will take a look at how many screens we have compared to the capital ships or the, or the battleships that we have. We now have 14 submarines thanks to Chile. Uh, I made a couple of crabbies to do convoy escorts to, to scare away the enemy submarines and we have a couple of mine laying ships. Uh, when we are at war we could maybe put them in the Cape Verde plane over here to maybe uh, slow down the allies, who knows. Now I think we just have to uh, keep playing. Uh, I think I just set the order to my troops to the Brazilian front because that is going to be the next war. And yeah, I think it's time to uh, recreate our theaters again. So once again, these are our attacking armies. And the other ones are all uh, defending armies. So let's just select all of these. No, wait, you are my attacking general, right? Yes. So we need to do this. Make a new one in a new theater. And it's going to be defending again. Very simple. Defending. Uh, yes, you will get that symbol and I will make you blue because that is a color that is passive in my opinion. And we're going to send all the defensive units to this army. There we go. I think there are a couple more. One more. There we go. These are garrisons, but we don't really need garrisons, I think, in the war against Brazil. We can use them at the front. Uh, and my defending general, who were you again? Was it Ramon over here? Should we do Alberto because he has the ranger skill? I would love to keep the, the, the armor officer for later so that we at least have an armor officer ready. You know what, let's give um, uh, Augustin Pedro the uh, defensive order over here. And of course you need the field marshal and that's going to be, uh, be Arturo over here because you have max entrenchment plus 30%. There we go. That is all set and you guys are also going to make a front with Brazil. Now we have unlocked the naval uh, marines, the marines here. And we are going to make a template that we are going to use. Is there a bonus for amphibious? It's 50% and it's not going to change with the motorized, right? Okay. But we do get a bit more break crews. So let's give them a motorized support. Let's give them a bit of artillery. That they are stronger. An engineer, of course, because then we get a bit more amphibious. Uh, we want to keep a flame tank slot open. I don't know if this slot will open when I select something. Yes, it does. Okay. Uh, field hospitals. I think the logistics. There we go. And let's make them a little bit bigger. Okay, we need a little bit more uh, points. So let's let the game run until we have 50 points here. There we go. Do it like this. Perfect. And then we're going to put them in the queue. I can train four divisions right now. It's based on the how many divisions you have in the queue. And you can see that we have a lot of equipment ready. Also captured equipment. So we could actually get way more uh, units in the queue here. So let's get a couple of uh, extra garrisons as well as my defensive units here. There we go. And yes, we are out of manpower. Now, luckily for us, we are having the own path focus. And that will make it cheaper to get uh, our uh, conscription locker. So I will wait for that. Yes, we do have spare points, but we are going to use this to integrate everything in South America. So we just keep playing. And yeah, I think I will be back when um, something is happening. I will train my ships, though. Uh, are you not? Oh, they're not splitting up automatically. That is annoying. If I do this, then you will train, right? Yeah, it's this not showing in the in the screen, I guess. No, they are not splitting off automatically. Because these are all repairing. 
Okay, I will just train the uh, submarines and the other ones, and then when the things are repaired, I will do the other ships. And I will be back when something happens. The fall of Warsaw. The German forces advancing in Poland have succeeded in capturing Warsaw. Yeah, the Germans are conquering Poland. And soon they will take this part themselves and they will give this to the Soviet Union. And Poland has capitulated. The Polish government has gone into exile and everything is now conquered. The war between the Axis and the remains of the Allies continues elsewhere. And I think very soon the Soviet will take the rest of it. The German pressure towards the Benelux following the breakout of the war with France. German has applied stronger diplomatic pressure than ever on the countries on the Benelux. With French and British backing, however, they are refusing to give in to the pressures. I think this will happen very soon. Well, not yet. Okay, we have our engineer company too. We can now make our flame tanks and we will absolutely do this because flame tanks are amazing also for naval invasions. But is there anything else we need to do first? We have done all the things here. The radar is not super important. We still want our uh, level 2 light cruisers so that we can make spotters with the improved airplane catapults. Uh, we have almost everything here, but not very imp important. We have done the artillery. So I think we are just going to do more things here. Uh, recon is good. We could get more trickle back. And we could make our supply usage go down further and fuel as well. Um, yeah, it's the question what we're going to do here. I think we're going to go with the recon. That we have a fighting bonus. Alright, we have almost finished our own path over here. There we go. And that means that we have plenty of points and we are absolutely going to limited conscription. Get more manpower in. <clears throat> and we're going to pick the next focus and that will be the old enemy, I think. Let's get a war goal against Brazil. And let's go to war with them because I think the earlier the better. Um... We also get more fascism and we get attack bonus and defense bonus against Brazil. That will open the uh, unity option so that we can spend our political power on uh, annexing all the countries. So I think that's what we are going to do here. Uh, how far are my marines? Okay, they are somewhat ready. Good. Looking good. And artillery, we have spare artillery a little bit. We have some anti-air and anti-tank as well. We have spare trains. So I think we are ready to go to war with uh, Mr. Brazil here. What do you guys think about attacking? Yeah, they say that's an inferior enemy. It's looking good uh, uh, for all the things. So let's go with the old enemy and get our war goal against uh, Brazil here. And the Netherlands joined the Allies because the German Reich declared war on the Netherlands. And there they go. Taking everything from my home country. I live in this, this, this province over here. It will be done and, ver and gone very soon. Germany will also declare war on Belgium and Luxembourg and then go into France to stop the Allies, at least on the mainland. And there goes the Netherlands. And the Soviet Union is uh, uh, asking Finland to give uh, this state here. Is it Karelia? Karyala, apparently. And they say no, and that means that the Winter War is going to happen very soon. The uh, Soviet Union will take war against uh, Finland. Um, Hitler declared war on Belgium. The Netherlands has capitulated, so they are now going to take down Belgium. And yeah, the, the Winter War will ha start as well very soon, I think. Should not take too long. Uh, that actually reminds me, maybe we should put the Marines on the field and on the... Or we are just going to wait until they are trained. The USSR occupies Eastern Poland. There we go. That is what I was waiting for. Um, the Soviet Union takes down the Eastern part of Poland. Because they made a deal. Backstage, I guess. We have improved artillery too. That means that we have better artillery. This one gives uh, 25 soft attack. This one gives... 30 soft attack, so that is a nice improvement. And we have our MIO over here. And what is the difference at the moment? Not a lot. I think it's only be uh, giving extra production efficiency. But uh, yeah, let's change this to the level 2. The earlier you do this, the better. 
Because we are going to lose some retention. A lot, actually. So we are producing artillery very slowly. Once again, but we are going to get it uh, quicker. And better later on. Now, what are we going to take now? We'd love to take these two things here. Uh, I still need to make the flame tank, but we don't have the army experience, so I will wait a little bit longer. We could also make it from the medium tank chassis, and yeah, not this one, but this one costs may way more time, I think. Yeah, we want to make this as cheap as possible, because it's just a flat bonus. I think. And this opens up the small, medium and, and heavy tank as well, so I don't think we have to research this with this thing yet. Uh, we could do this one so that we can get more oil, with a decision. Now I think we're gonna go with more support uh, stuff here, let's get extra logistics. There we go. And in 60 days we will get the better guns as well. There will be a speech, we cancel it, apparently that's the only way to do it in this game. By manually uh, skipping it, because the game doesn't let you do it otherwise. Let's train these troops a little bit until they are at least level 3. And the marines are coming, more defensive troops are coming. I don't think I'm going to make more attacking units. I think this will be fine. We have a little bit more time. Let's go to speed 5. How are the repairs doing? They are almost completely repaired. And apparently these ones are all repaired now. Except for you. Let's repair that one. Because that is a heavy ship, right? Yes. Okay, it's getting repaired. German interest in Scandinavia. Germany declares war on Denmark. And they will soon declare on... Uh, uh, on Norway as well. Sweden will not be attacked. There we go. The Norsk Nationale Regering. It's almost, al almost Dutch. And they all are gonna join. Uh, the Allies and Iceland is uh, getting independence. And what happens is that uh, uh, Denmark immediately gave up. Please don't attack me. We will join you. We will become your protectorate. And the same counts for Norway. But there we go. But there is a thing going on here. Oh wait, no, they are actually going to attack Norway, from this part here in Oslo. Now Belgium almost capitulated, they will attack Luxembourg and they will take down uh, France as well. Yeah, Nordic Nationale Regering here is now part of the Axis. And they will take down Norway with the help of Germany. And that goes very quickly because the game is scripted. Luxembourg is getting attacked by Germany. Belgium capitulated, Luxembourg will be capitulating. We have our next weapons. 1939 weapons are research. We are going to change this to the next level. What are your stats here? 4 piercing, you have 5 and you have 9.2 soft attack and you have 6.1. So it's a lot better. But yeah, we lose some production efficiency. We're going to produce uh, weapons for a bit slower for a while. Okay, it is October. We should take the field hospitals. And on the other hand, getting these defense bonuses here is also not a bad idea since we will go to war. So let's get those out of the way. I think that is a good idea as well. And let's take a look what I need for the interwar medium tank to make a flamethrower. You are cheaper, so we pick you. Flamethrowers. You become a flame support company. We pick the cheapest suspension we take the cheapest armor and you need to go four kilometers an hour uh, when we go with the diesel engine it will go to 3.8 but the reliability will go up immensely so we go with the diesel engine and then get three engine upgrades that you are at least going four kilometers an hour i think that is how i want to do it so it costs 12 we do have enough what is a nice flame tank model? Yeah, we don't have really nice models here. Interwar medium flame tank, there we go. And we're gonna put this in the queue. And we only need one factory to make this, so let's start producing this and then we can put it on our troops here. On the last uh, support slot. Especially on our 
on our naval uh, units, our, mar our marines, because we get a nice bonus from it. Okay. Now, we are still trading two factories, I think. We could maybe turn back on one. Because we only have minus two for some destroyer hulls, and that is completely fine, I think. There we go. Okay, the repairs are coming in. Three civilian factories. We want still more. We don't have enough. Um, let's start building them in... Territories where we have a lot of infrastructure. For example, here in Chile. But also here in the Montevideo. Because we have 60%, so they're getting built quicker. We are going to integrate these very soon. When we have our focus done, we will click the integration focuses. And then we spend all our political power on integrating all the territories. Okay, that is all over. And then I think I will take a small break here. And then continue when something is happening. Oh! The end of the League of Nations, because uh, the Soviet Union declares war on Finland. The winter war for this state over here. And there we go, Germany is advancing into the French territories. Yikes. And we have some more free civilian factories again. We are having uh, 31 factories working at the same time, so that is really, really cool to see. Uh, where do we have... Oh, there's 60%, let's build that one, and... I also want some naval dockyards. We leave some room for those. And let's build a couple of civilian factories here as well on the 40%. Uh, okay, we are almost having the focus, so I think we are going to put everything into play. So we have your, you already ready. Uh, we have four naval commanders. What is a good submarine commander? Well, you are already one of my advisors, so you should level up. And we do that a lot with, with our submarines. So maybe we should put you on uh, on the submarines. I mean, the naval damage is really cool, but I really want this guy on my main fleet here. You are good on um, convoy escort because you will make the enemy retreat quicker, I guess. So let's put you on the submarines. And let's put you with the enemy retreat chance on the convoy raiders. And... I guess you will go here. Doesn't really matter. Now, we will not attack with our navies because we want to take the Brazilian navy. Can we actually see some intel? We can. They have like two battleships and uh, yeah, we'd love to capture them. So, uh, let's just keep going here and let's wait for this focus to complete because we are going to declare war. We are also at 100% stability and war support right now. So uh, we have the maximum bonuses here, we get 10% more PP, and we get 20% more factory and dockyard output, which is insanely good. Some more defense units. Yeah, all of you can go to the defense guy here. And the marines are training, we cannot make more because we have no more limit. And then we should attack very soon. Are you guys ready? Inferior enemy? Yeah, they have some horses. Okay, you do have a couple of artillery guns. And some anti-air as well, but I think we are stronger. Looking good, guys. Paris has fallen. Let's take a look in Europe. There goes Germany. Around the fortifications over here. And Italy is taking... Uh, is doing its duties here as well. But Italy is very weak compared to Germany. Okay. There we have it. And we should declare instantly, because they have a very weak front, I think. So, uh, And then we will pick the South American unity so that we can integrate all our occupied territories. And we can do this instantly, because we have a lot of political power. And that gives us also some more resources as well, so that's going to be perfect. I think it's time to declare war. We have a lot of anti-air, though. We do have enough in our stockpiles here. Do we still have everything on motorized? I th oh no, not the defending armies. Let's put that on uh, this first. Let's see if we have enough trucks. Not really. So we do need more trucks coming in. So let's get an extra factory over there. But yeah, we also need the guns and artillery first. So I'm not going to change that. Just have to deal with it. 
And yeah, we are not going to attack. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. We have seven heavy ships. So we need at least 21 screens, but 28 is my rule since positioning. And we do have 25. So this fleet is very operational. We could use a couple more screen ships to protect all our capital ships, but it's very operational. Uh, we do have an extra submarine here, but let's put you over there. So that we can start uh, training you at some point. We are not going to use our fleet. See if we can do without, and let's declare the war here. Uh, no one is going to help you. And we should be able... ...to take this... ...fairly quickly. Now, I will give you a... Uh, I guess such an order and a forced attacking order. And let's see if we can micro this a bit. I think we have to if we want to succeed. Um, you have no attacking order. Oopsie daisy. That was my mistake. Let's attack anyway since we have forced march on. Looks like we are also stronger with this. Yes, you have some entrenchment, but... And we have some river crossing going on. We have a huge amount of attack attacking value, so I think we are going to take a lot of territories over here. We also have a thing here in our MIO for our infantry weapons. So we have some defense already, the reliability, and now we can pick one of these. More piercing and hard attack. Or more soft attack and breakthrough. We will go with this one. We're going to make our guns a little bit stronger once again. With the upgrade. Now it looks like I'm winning everywhere. And you just skilled up, I think. And this is gonna cost a lot of equipment, so I'm not gonna put more attacking units. Okay, we're taking this province. Where are their supply up? So we want to take this one away from them. And we absolutely need to take this one very quickly. And it looks like we will. The death of Rudolf Hess in Scotland and Free France has capitulated. Why Free France? Because there is now also a Vichy France, so Germany won. That went very quickly and Vichy France is now a uh, some sort of protectorate from the Germans. I think the French Navy is also going over here, but I think that the Allies will, de will uh, destroy it. Okay, we will take that tile, that is perfect, because now we can also put our airplanes there. Are you guys doing something? Yes, you are. We have air superiority in Rio Grande do Sol. Very nice. This is some decisions available, some new things, since we are at war. Now, our stability is down because we are at war, minus 20%. We don't need war support, so... Gonna turn this away. We can do war bonds. Lowers our consumer goods factories of minus 20%, which is going to be fantastic. We could do that one. But yeah, you know what? Let's do it. Let's go with some war bonds. Consumer goods factory goes down with 20%. So we now are building with 14. And now with 16. Well, uh, we had we had 29, now we have 31. So we built a little bit quicker for a while. And it only costs 50 points, so let's go for it. We have a lot of spare points anyway. Now let's keep fighting this war and micro it. Need to do this as quickly as we can. Okay, so we did take the supply up, I think. I don't see it though. Oh no, we didn't. Si, senor. Listo. Send the bird over there and take it down. And we need Porto Alegre as quickly as we can now. And it looks like Brazil is still a very, very weak, so... Si, senor. Let's go there very quickly. 
At least they will not have any supplies, and then I will take it down. Luxembourg has capitulated. Yeah, we don't have to look at there. We know what's uh, going on. We know what is going on. Okay, you guys are not winning. The supply up over here. You have to take it. No. Apparently not. I will keep trying for a bit. Apparently they are not using their navy against me. So that is very helpful. Uh, can I make a pocket over here? I think we can. Can you guys hold this one down? Oh shit, they moved away. Well, apparently we can't do this yet. I will give my defending army an order. You never know when they when we need it. Okay, I think we have to supply up here. The White Death. War has come to Finland. Many hunters. Suya Skunta Militaimen. In the shooting club, marksmen have taken up arms to fight off their oppressors. Yeah, playing as Finland is a lot of fun since the last DLC. Which I already did. Okay, if I can cut this off, these units are all going to die. So we should really focus on that. Actually, if I just go here now, they are blocked. The fall of Nanjing. Japan is taking more of China. Looking good. I, th I think we're gonna surround them. When I'm in Joinville. Yeah, and we killed a lot of them already and they are gonna be killed here as well. They are all going to get killed. How many troops do you have left? Okay, they are making emergency troops, I think, but uh, it's looking good, guys. Now, if we want this supply up for ourselves, we need to take all the railways. Wait, it is actually already supplying us? It shouldn't, because there's no railway connection. Huh. How are we doing on our artillery? Yeah, we are losing artillery and infantry equipment, because we are fighting. Uh, let's... Cancel out of some of our... No, not you. Of our recruitments and free up the stuff for our fighting armies. They need to keep up strength. And since we have changed our production method, we are getting guns very slowly. Okay, there are my marines. I'm gonna put them to use immediately. New commander in the attacking army. You will be my marines. I'm gonna make you, I guess, light blue. And who's gonna be my marine guy? Could be good to get urban uh, bonuses. Let's put Juan Pistarini for this option. And uh, let's make a naval invasion from here all the way to Macapa. Because there is a supply hub. And I want that because we know that that is the hard thing to take from the last try. Now you need to we need to get naval superiority and we are gonna do this by putting my ships on a strike force. Okay, we cannot reach it, I guess. So I don't think there is a way for us to do this at the moment. Yeah. There is not. 
because we can't reach it. So we need to take down more naval stuff over here. We need to take Rio and then we can maybe reach a bit further. Submarines can go further, but they cannot reach these sea tiles. So we cannot really do a naval invasion uh, at the moment. But let's move them there anyway, and maybe we should give them some training. Uh, can you guys kill the troops off that are going to reinforce over here? These Brazilian troops are going to get killed because they are trying to go here. Yeah, let's put all my attacking units over there. And maybe give them a break afterwards so that they can re replenish their uh, stuff. The Soviet Union is uh, peacing out. Finland. There we go. We have our South American unity focuses completed. And now we have a ni nice dark blue color. And you can integrate everything. Let's integrate Montevideo. Because we have built factories there. Uh, let's also do Santiago. And let's also do... Uh, what is this thing called? Paraguay. Okay. Um, is there anything else that is very important to integrate at the start? This one, we have 17 steel here. More steel things. A little bit over here. A bit over there, but we have integrated already. And now it doesn't really matter, so we just take the resources. Maybe people are going to trade us, trade it with us. There we go. And now we don't have enough political power anymore. In 35 days, we are going to get all the stuff from these states. It's going to be amazing. What is the next thing that we are going to do? We could, we could create our own intelligence agency. But I think that getting to the research boost and get the extra research slot is worth it more than anything else. We will not have the political power to do the immigration stuff or the reach out stuff here. And there's some really good things over here, but let's just go over the research tree here and get the research slot and the uh, advisor to give us 10% research speed. We're going to do these four focuses here. The first one gives us some research boost for production. Let's do all of this. Now we're killing some Brazilians. So we need to take more land if we want to uh, make sure that we are going to have this supply up operational for us. And we killed all of them over there. We are just going to press. You are going to go there. We are going to remove all the orders. And all of you are going here. And you are all going to go to the blue one. Except for this one taking the province. So everyone will now uh, move to their designated positions. And actually my attacking army is, is going over here. Only. Because this will be the goal. The Panay incident, American and British gunboat were attacked by Japanese aircraft. And the world is at war, 100% world tension. So yeah, my conclusion is that we can still use a couple of uh, screenshots. So let's just keep building them uh, uh, slowly one by one for now. I think that is better. And I will end this episode here. In the next one we will take hopefully all of Brazil. Let's see if we can do this before they join the allies. That would be amazing. Because then we can focus on the rest over here. And at some point we will have to go against the allies. But we will try to delay this as long as we can. And uh, don't forget to like and say something in the comment section. And then I see you guys in the next episode. Bye bye.